Shalom, family. I pray all is well with you all. Um, we're going to ferment some vegetables here. Um, this is something that I'm into now. Um, what I'm gonna start with first, because I was I was making this. Let me show you what I have first. And here I have some cabbage, organic. Everything is organic, but some of the onions is not. But I have some cabbage, then I have broccoli, and I also have, I chopped up some of the broccoli stems. Then I have some red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and some purple onions. I have some cucumbers here. Is that it? I think that's it. Now, I was making this for all of us, um, but I realized, thank the most high, that, excuse me, I'm sorry, I apologize, that I can't uh, make the same one for Adriana that I'm making for everybody. That's so, now when you're, huh? You need to remember the rock salt. Oh, here you go. Oh, okay. Now, when you're making this, you don't want to use the white vinegar, okay? This is, like, not good. Even though that's organic, you don't want to put that in your body, okay? This is for cleaning and cleaning vegetables and things of that nature. You want to use apple cider vinegar, and you can make your own, which y'all know I, those who normally there with us, um, you want to use apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. Now this one here, I'm making for Adriana. I already have, actually I'm going to put some more water in here. Um, and I'm going to put some salt. You can put a tablespoon of salt. Um... Everybody, I need lemon. Sorry, I need the lemon. Lemons. Um, what else? Um, you can put carrots in here. It's like endless of what you can put in. And I need the probiotics. What you can put in here. You don't need the probiotics to start this. Um, but I really want a good culture. Thank you. Let me wash these off. So, okay. Sometimes I say things in videos and then I get, like, y'all know how it is. People ask you, what, what is this and what? And I mentioned it in the video. Um, so it's important if you want to know what I'm doing, the, the lemon thing is in here. Oh, that, can that be in here? Those things, bro. Um, it's important that you... Like, look at the whole video if you want to do something that somebody's sharing, right? Because they're telling you what they're doing. Okay. It's going in my lime or lemon-lime vinegar mix. Okay, I have my salt. She can use these probiotics, right? I think it's used from artichokes. Okay. Put me a little ar uh, artichoke. <laughs> you, if you want to. My sweet child sitting here like, Mom, what you want me to do? Okay, we're gonna put some cumin in here. She loves this flavor. This is what I, this is what I flavor just about everything with. That's about a teaspoon there. I'm gonna shake mine up to kind of get everything. You know what I'm... Did I put apple cider vinegar in here? I don't do this in the What? 
Oh, no, I didn't. I put it in my other mix. <laughs> Y'all, you want to put two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One, two. Two tablespoons. I'm going I'm to go back through what you're going to put in here, okay? What you put in yours. We don't have celery, do we? Can you I'll put some more water in it for me? Now that one is ready. It's going to sit on the counter um, for a couple weeks. You can start eating out of it whenever you want to, okay? Now I'm going to go through this again with, well, with our, um, what we're going to have. Okay. This one is the cabbage. So let's put the cabbage on the bottom. And I'm going to tell y'all what I have in the, um, you want to do this? Okay. Oh, or what? Okay. I'll let Abby do that one. While she's doing that, I'm going to be filling this other, because I'm going to make a cucumber. We like pickles, me and Ebony. We like pickles, so that's why I have this one. The pickles only. Are you putting all of this in there? Uh-huh. I'm going to kind of layer it. Do you want me to weigh it or we'll go ahead and just put yeah, it on? Go, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Here I have my pickles. Okay, now you can put your onions. Okay, here I have my, my pickles. I have my cucumbers, and I'm going to put some onions in here. We're not using garlic. Garlic is very good medicinal-wise, but it kind of deals, it kind of mess up with your, when it comes to um, your thinking, <laughs> your swiftness and moving and, and things. That, we don't have no cucumber, I mean no celery. Carrots would be good in that. We have carrots. Can you, you feel like just roughly chop it? Like really quickly rough chop. If, if we have some, should have asked you that in the beginning. All right, counter is clean. Do not, do not no dirty people, okay? Okay, gonna put my, this is about, that was about a teaspoon there, so it's about two teaspoons of lemon juice. And then I'm gonna put in our pickles, same thing. You can also put mushrooms in here. You guys, I'm going to be doing a couple more videos, too, with other things. Is that nice? I had a knife over there. This oh, one I can chop it. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And here... I'm going to, I have some habaneros that came out of our garden. I'm putting one over in the pickles. Or should I put two pieces? I'll put two pieces. And then I'll put one over here. And here is what you might call a rind. Um, I'm going to retaste it again. I'm going to tell y'all what I have in here. Good. I know what I miss. I'm missing something. Put some cumin in there. Yeah, with pickles. Then I bring it out. Excuse me, you guys. Wait, do I want to put? Hold on. Let's see. Was that in this recipe? No. Okay. 
while she's chopping over there, I'm going to tell y'all what's in this brine. I'm calling it brine. I have my sole salt, which people was like, what is that in the jar? Okay, this is nothing but these uh, Himalayan dark pink salt stones. Okay, I bought this off of Amazon. Okay, I have that in this brine. You hear that? All you do is put the stones in here and refill it. You just keep refilling it and that's your salt. You can cook with it, whatever you want. Um, I have in here some sesame. Where did I put it? I have in here some toasted sesame seed oil, um, about two tablespoons of this. I also have two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. And I have, what else? Oh, okay, I have two tablespoons of this coconut amino acid. I'm sorry, coconut aminos. This is a soy replacement. Highly recommended for, the, for you guys who want to uh, use soy, but you don't want to use soy, okay? Okay, and I have cumin um, and the lime. So what I'm doing, you want to taste it? Okay. Okay. I'm going to use this because this is just for us. I'll give it to you some. You think I need to add something else? Yeah. Any flavor that you like that's missing? Because it's going to... No. I ain't putting no paprika now. Okay, I'm going to pour this over. <laughs> I'm going to need some more water for the other one. You can help me out, please. Thank you, sweetie. Um, and this is also going to sit on the counter. So what I'm going to do, y'all know how I do here, if you know me, I don't really measure, I did, no I didn't, I didn't measure with that either, I did this by eye, okay, my aminos, which is also a fermented, fermented, this is deprived from coconuts, so it's another fermented, you want to shake your apple, side of vinegar up. One, two tablespoons. A little, I'm not going to put that in this. And let's put the salt. I just refilled this, so I'm not going to put this. It's not going to be as strong. I just refilled it with water. So, if you don't have if you don't have your the salt, just use your regular sea salt, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't stress yourself out. The key is just thank you. You want you can fill it up. You can do this one. And leave some space because this is going to probably gonna, you know, kind of bubble up. So I kind of got like an inch of head, head space there. Um, I put everything in here, right? The apple cider, salt. The only thing missing. A little bit more. Is my probiotics. It's cool. And I'm going to put. Good little heapings. Is going to have hers and we have ours. And that's it. I want to show you guys something else that I've been eating and fermenting on the top. The top, the top. I brought it. You see it? I have a top somewhere around here for that other one here. Is it? Let me see. Okay. Kind of push it down. You want it under the water.
You can pull a little more water. You know how it is with canning. Like right to the rim. That's good. Okay. I'm going to show you what else I've been doing. All of this, this is still considered to be raw. You see my red? Is it over behind me? Um, this is going to sit on the counter or in the in the other room there, my laboratory room. Yeah, I'm going to call that that. Or on the counter. I think it's so pretty. Now, I'm going to get to what else I've been doing. This is beautiful. Ebony did an awesome job. And the pickles. Okay, what else I've been doing? Me and Ebony. But I've been pretty much doing this like mostly on my own, right? But I've been but I've been seeing a big result from it. And I think what happened with you is the cleaning of the gut. You think so? Yeah, because you had an issue with your gut. So I believe you need to continue. So what's here? Did you want no, I don't care. Okay, what's here is coconut flesh. And co I started out with coconut water. And then I also put these golden berries. And I drink this down halfway and I refill it. Yeah, I know I should have drunk out of a cup, but this is how I usually do. Now I'm gonna give Abby some. Here, get some more. And she's gonna refill this up for me. And we have our probiotics. That's what this is, probiotics. It's, it's acidy, right? It's like citric. It tastes like soda. Yeah. So it's fermented. This is fermented. Coconut Probiotic, soda. yeah, and yeah, that's what I have. Let me show y'all the because the, I know my people. Okay, I have one more thing else I have to uh, I have to do. If you get me a jar, you know, like this type of jar with a lid. If we have it, if not, okay. Um, okay, these are the berries I bought them off of Amazon. They're pretty expensive, but they're really high in vitamin C, antioxidants, and all of the above. Uh, highly recommend. It's not sweet. Just a little sweet, a little tangy to it. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Drinking a lot of fermented things. And I've also been fermenting my fruit. I'm going to wash this spoon off. Okay, this video is short. <laughs> gotta put that back. Keep your probiotics in the refrigerator. We gotta refill this up with water. We got a top for that? I have to go see her. I think so. Okay. Um, I know I got a lot going on in this kitchen, my laboratory. But I want to show you guys this right quick. I've been fermenting also my fruit. It don't look that pretty. But this is my fermented fruit. And what's in here is papaya. It stinks. <laughs> what's in here is papaya. Um... Mango, 
I have the papaya seeds in there. I have the papaya seeds in here. I have the mango seed and the skin. And I have like two bananas where I blended everything up in the blender. That'll be pretty. Blended everything in the blender. And I, um, I'm going to drink this later. So I'll sip on it now a little bit. Mm. Oh my God. This is even stronger. Whoa, yeah, I'm rotten fruit. Oh. I'm also getting ready to do this. I'm gonna need some more onion. But I'm getting ready to also put this in the jar. I have a red onion, purple onion, in the jar and do the same thing that I did to these other vegetables. You guys, I have a video out there with this. These are the beans that I use. Um, I used garlic the last time, but this time I'm using just red onions, the vinegar, um, and water. I think I might put more of my, my vinegar. I want a lot of onions. You want a lot of onions? A lot. Then yeah, it could be roughly chopped like big. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing with this. So. If you guys, I know somebody going to say, I want you to see, I want to see you make some more fermented stuff. I will be coming back doing videos, y'all willing, to show y'all how to make um, more fermented things. Um, it's so important. What I've seen for me is that um, my stomach has been going down. Um, so I'm getting in good probiotics help fighting off parasites and candida and all that. If you take, if you have taken birth control pills, if you have eaten sushi or eaten meat, any of those things, you have parasites. Some people have them more than others. I've been dealing with this parasite issue for over a year now. Um, but now I'm seeing results as far as my stomach going down. When you have parasites, it's hard to lose weight. It's really hard because uh, you're eating for the critters that's in your stomach and they taking a lot of the nutrients away from you. So you start craving a lot of things that they want, not actually you. They crave all these, uh, have you craving foolishness, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on. That's why I'm doing all this probiotics. Uh, it helps to burn fat. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend you guys get into this, get you some fresh coconuts. Um, these were frozen, fresh frozen. Uh, you know, we get them here easily. I'm gonna be doing a pineapple one. Um, maybe I'll show you guys. It's the same process, same thing. Um, so, but if you guys want me to show y'all, here is Adriana's beautiful fermenting. I think I'm put a little more water in here. Um, vegetables. So yeah, this is awesome. I'm gonna come back and show y'all the update because we're gonna see the bubbling of it. You can do root, um, like you can do uh, pumpkins and. Things that are, it's like endless. So this is another way uh, to have fresh, um, organic foods because you don't want to eat. You don't want to eat um, things that are not organic. You don't. Um, so yeah. And we're gonna end this video right now. And that's all, folks. Is that it? That's it. Thousand Rose to you guys. Shalom. You ain't saying that? Shalom. I'm sweating, not Chancuria. <laughs>